Hello, and um, today I'm going to show you how to make an advanced notepad. This is the second part in the notepad series. Because um, all we have in this one are the basic features. So, um, we actually want to add another one. And you want uh, to your tool strip. And call it Tools. To and go to... Um, type options and customize and then in customize you want to type oops font color background color Okay, so, um, yeah, then, um, I guess we should start coding now. Um, let's start with customize. And, um, you actually want to add a font dialog and a color dialog. So just scroll down, color dialog, font dialog. Alright, then, um, Customize, double click on font. Uh, and it'll bring up the code. Then you want to type font dialog one dot show dialog. Now you want to actually double click on the font dialog and say rich text box one dot font equals font dialog one dot dot font. Um, I think that should be it. Um, um, let's just test it out to make sure. Because I'm not completely sure if that's all you have to do or not. Because if it is, hey, that's pretty easy. So, um, let's just wait for it to load up. And, um, so type hello and go to tools, customize, font. Let me go ahead and um, Google it just um, to see what I did wrong. Let me pause this. Oh, shoot. Um, okay, I think I might have figured out um, font. sec where'd it go um okay and um before font dialog one dot show dialog you want to say um font dialog one dot font equals rich text box one dot font this is what I saw, but I'm not sure if it's right. Uh, 
Oh shoot. All right, I'll be right back. All right, um, instead of, um, programmatic, or instead of adding, physically adding a font dialog, I'm going to go ahead and delete it and use a code snippet that I found online. So, um, now I'm going to go ahead and delete these subs. And now, when we go to tools and font, double click on it, and I'm just going to paste it in, and it says dim DLG as new font, as font dialog equals to new font dialog, dialog.font equals rich text box one dot font. And this line of code is basically saying if somebody clicks OK, then the font of the rich text box is going to be the font of the dialog that you selected. So hopefully this one works. And I'm sorry for making the mistakes and everything. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now we got the font working. Now we have to get the color, which is probably going to be hard too. But what I'm going to do is actually, since it's on my clipboard, click on color, paste the font one in, and say color dialog. Wait a sec. And then change this to color dialog. Oops. Okay. And just change font to color. And change the rich text box one dot four color, and then all right, that should work. Tools customize color. Orange. There we go. Okay. So that's cool. Now that we got that, we can go ahead and add background color. Same thing. Gonna type in try. Um, then we wanna go dim DLG as color dialog equal to color new color dialog and um dlg dot um color equals rich text Rich text box one dot back color if DLG dot show dialog equals system dot windows dot oops. dot forms dot dialog um dialog result 
alt dot ok then and um, then you want to type rich text box one dot back color equals dog dot color and um, and um yes and um that should be all for today since that's pretty I'll actually have one more picture that I'm gonna do um after this so tools customize background color and this color and then boom now if we stop debugging um, we're, I'm actually going to talk about the about dialog, if you've ever used one, and if not, well, here's how you use one. Okay, so when we double click on the about, what we, actually, before we do that, we want to go up here and click add new item, and then, um, wait for it to load, and once it comes up, you want to double click on about box, and now you have an, an about, wait, do, now it'll show pretty soon come with a, an about box. And we're actually going to change this to none. And as you can see, there's all this. But the thing is, if you change it and you load it, is not going to work. But what we can do is type about notepad. So then we actually want to go to Solution Explorer and go to My Project. Then it'll bring up this and um, have all this. And then you want to go to Assembly Information title base um, notepad tutorial description a notepad we've been, oop, been working on in our tutorials company and um Um, and then just fill it out the way you want. So that's basically what we need. So all we have to do now to finish up this tutorial is double click on the about and say about box one dot show. So it's it's pretty easy to do an about box. It's just basically telling you about your application. So um, if you click on about, there we go. It's got all our um, it's got all our information that we typed. Everything's good, and all the features working on Notepad. So I guess that's the end of the series. All right. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next tutorial.